Okay, hi everybody, this is Jitesh and I've got the Dynamics GP 2013 web client beta all set up. We are accessing Dynamics GP in the browser. I've got IE here, but I've tested it in Chrome as well and uh, works equally well. So I'm on the login screen right now and uh, on the bottom of the screen, I'd like you to watch uh, this uh, status bar message because this is where uh, while you're waiting for some of the processes to happen, you'd get updated. So I'll just click on OK here and it gets a response. The company login screen comes up. I'll click OK here as well. Again, we are waiting for a response as the GP uh, homepage opens up. We get the familiar sample company message and I can click OK on that. And here I have the home page of GP in the browser. It's very responsive and you can you know drag drop things here and there and uh, the you know expand the uh, panes. I can go to an area page. I've got the financial area page open here and um, looks familiar as well. I can open up a transaction entry window. I'm opening up the general ledger transaction entry window right now. It takes a few seconds to open up, but still, uh, once you're in, moving through a transaction is uh, uh, pretty cool and uh, responsive. I'll try and add a batch here, which, uh, okay, so that batch is already there. Maybe I'll add a new one. Yeah, so that opens up the batch entry window pretty quickly. reference maybe enter transaction as well and you can see it's reasonably responsive just save this moving on uh, the lists, there are lists as well. Let's let's go into the sales area pane and uh, maybe we can look at a list of debtors. Ah, and all those in the US don't get worried. Uh, this is the customers. I've, I've got an Australian install right now. So yeah, customers uh, would still be customers in your US install. So I can select a customer here, click on edit to open up a customer maintenance window. Again, the first time the windows take a few seconds to open up, that might be on my uh, local machine, possibly. And then you see all these tabs here for the accounts, addresses, and I guess if you've got multiple addresses, you can tab through them. One of the things I was curious about was, you know, how would smart lists work and export to Excel because that's uh, pretty important to a lot of people. I can export out this uh, uh, list to Excel as well, but let's go onto a smart list. And I'm selecting the smart list favorite from here because it's the, the one big difference is you don't have that Microsoft Dynamics GP menu here in the web client. So I'd come in here, select a smart list, click on view, which should open up the smart list window. And I've got my smart list here and expanding it uh, doesn't seem to expand it to the complete window. I'm assuming Microsoft expects you to use the list more maybe, or maybe that's a beta thing. And then uh, I click on this drop down to try and export it to Excel. The first time you try and export it, you get this prompt to select a temporary folder. I ran into a few issues when I selected a folder which I did not have access to. So uh, what seems to be working for me is just selecting the downloads folder which I know I do have access to. Click on OK and it immediately downloads the customer list, opens up Excel on my machine. So that's pretty good behavior and acceptable to a lot of people. 
and then uh, let's go back and try and print maybe uh, a report so I close up this smart list window got the financial tab open here open up the trial balance use an existing one and then uh, uh, as you can see here this taskbar shows you a list of open windows again something very cool just like your windows and let's see in the destination I'll just select a screen and click on print here now this particular thing uh, once you do that at the bottom of your screen you'll see a templates processing um, uh, message or depending upon the you know the kind of report which you're printing this can take some time and I've seen for the let's say the trial balance report especially uh, it uh, seems to be taking me some time but meanwhile that doesn't stop you from doing other things and you can just keep track of the message here mm, let's try an inquiry window so you can come in here select an account and you get the inquiry screen like you have right now you can tap through accounts and you can drill down uh, as well like you can do in your current windows client so that facility is there as well and meanwhile in the background my trial balance report has opened up as well so it's so the report that I printed on screen ultimately what that uh, seems to be doing is uh, opening up the report in Word. Now this might be configurable behavior and here I have the trial balance uh, report opened up in Word. So that's it for a quick uh, five minute demo of the web client. Hopefully that has gotten you excited to start looking into this again this is a beta so go ahead uh, try it out if you if you're a partner and uh, get start learning about it thanks